I'm out here today representing my daughter to uh, to ask the government to better assist us with health care reform. We need these dollars so we can help people like my daughter, the disabled as well as the able. In 2003, I gave birth to a baby girl. Um, she was diagnosed with Freeman Sheldon syndrome. And in short, uh, this is a syndrome that affects um, your muscular system. It's a cousin of cere cerebral palsy. It's about one in a billion births. And she was immediately put uh, in the in, in, in the NICU. They uh, placed her on a, a feeding tube because she wasn't taking the bottle by mouth. Uh, they also inserted a tube in her side, a G tube, uh, for feeding. Um, she was actually, I, I had her in Lafayette, Louisiana, and I actually had her moved uh, by plane to New Orleans, Louisiana, to the Tulane Pediatric Center um, in New Orleans. And in that NICU, she was diagnosed with the syndrome. Uh, she also had to have um, a tracheostomy placed inside into, into, into her neck. Um, this made it very difficult for my husband and I to um, basically sustain our lifestyle because we had to basically kind of give up our jobs and, and put some time in so we go into the hospital and we actually had to sit with her for days and nights and weeks on end to learn to feed her with this G2 and learn to uh, basically take care of her with this trach in her, in her neck um, because she had to have it. She also was given a uh, diagnosis of seizures. So she had to be placed on phenobarbital, which is a sedative that you have to have to, uh, to uh, subside the seizures. So we learned to actually administer the phenobarbital. And in doing this, we finally got it together and we were able to bring her home. And on several occasions, she actually, with the doctor's call, she passed on us. We were able to revive her. And she is doing fine now, but the progression was slow. Through the care of early steps, which was expensive, but it's a program that actually comes inside of your home and uh, work with her from age zero to three, three years of age and basically teaches her, um, helps her with all her disciplines and her therapies, be it occupational, um, occupational therapy, um, physical therapy, and like special instructions. Uh, teacher, teacher's instructions. Um, we also have home health care, which is truly expensive.